Okay, so now it's time for some justice. Justice League, directed by both Zack Snyder and Joss Whedon. This movie has Ben Affleck as Batman, Henry Cavill as Superman, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. You have Ezra Miller as Barry Allen, The Flash, Jason Moa as Aquaman, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, and Siren Hines plays our villain, Stephen Wolf. And for other members of the cast, you got J.K. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon, Amy Adams, as Lois Lane, Diane Lane back as Martha Kent, <laughs> Joel Morton as Silas Stone, Cyborg's father, Amber Heard as Jason Momoa's love interest, Mira, Connie Nelson is back as Queen Hippolyta, and that's pretty much the cast. This is the fourth movie in the DCU. You had Man of Steel as the first movie, which I didn't like. Then you had uh, Batman v Superman, which was a bit of a disappointment to me because it was a, a bit of a mess even though I am wearing the shirt. And then Suicide Squad was terrible. So now the, the fourth movie and Wonder Woman, which I did like a lot. I thought that was the best of the four. It's not saying much. <laughs> so I was hoping that Justice League was going to be just as good or better. While I do like this movie, I do have some problems. Let's get into this film. The plot, you have our villain Steppenwolf, played by Sierra and Hines, coming to Earth to gather up these three mother boxes to take over and turn Earth into a, a version of Apocalypse so he can make way for Darkseid. The Justice League has to stop him. Batman has to form the Justice League with the help of Wonder Woman gather up the other heroes, Superman, bring him back from the dead, as well as getting Barry Allen the Flash, Aquaman, and Victor Stone Cyborg to help out defeating Steppenwolf. And that's pretty much our movie. Now, I want to see this movie because I'm a big DC fan. I love the Bruce Timm animated DC Universe, and I really like the CW DC shows. So, I really wanted this movie to be good, and I do like this movie, but I have some problems, so let's get into this. First off, the things I like about this movie. Gal Gadot is excellent as Wonder Woman. She's the best part of the movie, in my opinion. One of my favorite members of this Justice League. And then you have Ezra Miller as the Flash. I thought he was great in the film. Very funny. When Henry Cavill comes back as Superman, I thought he was very good in the movie as well. Ray Fisher is pretty good as Cyborg. And Jason Momoa as Aqua Thor. I mean Aquaman. <laughs> he acts a little bit like Thor in this movie. I thought he was pretty good in the movie and... Finally, you have Sierra Hines as our villain, Steppenwolf. Uh, he's going to be the negatives, unfortunately. He's, he's one of the problems with this film, and that's a disappointment for me. Now, the cinematography I thought was pretty good, and some of the visuals I thought were good. The chemistry of the cast was really good, the chemistry of, of the Justice League. I did like a lot of the action in the film and, and the comedy. The comedy I thought was really good, which makes me really glad that they allowed Josh Whedon to do some directing for this movie as well, because I think if Zack Snyder did the whole film, this movie wouldn't be as good. And I really like the fact that, that Josh Whedon came in and did some directing as well, because this movie really needed to be lightened up, because there were a lot of problems with that may be Superman. Much of that was because of Zack Snyder's direction. Now let's get into the negatives of this movie because we got a lot of negatives. First off, 
Let's talk about the villain, Steppenwolf. He sucks. This is one of the weakest villains and one of the worst looking villains. The CG on Steppenwolf looks terrible. Steppenwolf does not have a good look. I really wish they went with a better look or maybe even a different villain instead of Steppenwolf, like maybe Brainiac or just somebody else. Not Darkseid yet because it's way too soon for Darkseid. I would have preferred to wait for a sequel for Darkseid, like either Justice League 2 or 3. Preferably 3. Look at the Avengers, they're waiting for Avengers 3 with Thanos. So it makes sense to wait for Dark Side because that's way too soon. But Steppenwolf was not that great of a villain. They really could have done better or maybe written him better or something. The other problem with this movie is that it's rushed. The problem with that is the two hour runtime. The, the executives at Warner Brothers want this movie at two hours and that doesn't let the movie breathe well enough. And that makes the movie feel rushed. So that's one of the big problems with this film. One of the other problems with this movie is Amy Adams really has to be allowed to act as Lois Lane. Some of the acting she has is she's very wooden in these DCU movies and I really wish they allowed her to be the actress that I know she is. She has done better in other films like American Hustle. I know she could do better in this movie but I think the direction from Zack Snyder is just not really allowing her to act well enough to be a good Lois Lane at times. I had some problems with her acting in the movie, but she's not in the movie that much. And some of the effects were not all that great, like the effects with Cyborg, he didn't, there were a couple times where he didn't look all that good, but other times he did look very good, so his computer generated look was, was a bit of a mixed bag for me. Another negative for me is the fact that Batman's a little bit too open with his identity when he's gathering up the League, especially when he's talking to Aquaman for the first time. Those scenes where he's talking to Aquaman, any of these bystanders in those scenes could have figured out that Bruce Wayne is Batman, and that's not within Bruce Wayne's character. Bruce Wayne is supposed to be very guarded with his secret identity. So for him to just be very open, I don't mind the fact that he's telling the other members of the League who he is, but when he's talking to the other members of the League while there's bystanders, that I didn't like, really. You would think that Batman would be a little bit more guarded with his identity. I mean, he is Batman! That's pretty much it for negatives. Overall, I thought this was a pretty good movie. The movie is really action-packed and the comedy is great and everything, so this was a very good movie for me. I'm going to give this movie a B. I definitely think it's worth checking out. And there are two after credits scenes, so stay after the credits. And that's all I got to say for Justice League.